So this is a tutorial on how to capture the mask that's produced by the blend if sliders. Let's say that you have a photograph and the photograph is glossy. And let's say that you have an image of some torn paper or painted concrete or whatever this is, but we're going to pretend it's torn paper. And you want to combine the two using the blend if sliders, but you want to do it ultimately in a computer graphics renderer and you want to define the paper as matte and you want to define the uh, photo as glossy. So a really good way of doing that would be to have these two textures in their entirety and a mask. Um, I'm going to take this texture and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to set it down underneath just so that it's kind of out of the way for safekeeping. I'm going to turn the eyeball off too. So if we come up to this guy and we double click on him, it relieves the bl reveals the blend if sliders. And if we pull this to one side, then the, the brights start to fall away. And if we hold down Alt and we um, bring it back, then we get a softer transition. You can watch plenty of tutorials on how exactly these blend if sliders work if you've never seen them before. This isn't a tutorial on that. But uh, they're definitely cool and worth playing with. So now that you have that, what, where's the mask that makes this happen? If you look in the channels, it's not there. And so... Uh, is there any way to obtain it? Well, one way to do it is to make a blank layer, a transparent layer in the middle, and then to right click on this guy and say merge down. Now, what you get is, there it is. Notice the appearance didn't change at all, but now what you have is you have all of that transparency and then that, that gray stuff on transparency. Um, I soloed the layer by holding Alt down and clicking on the eyeball. So, if you hold down the control, you can load that as a transparency. And then if you turn this layer that I saved and you bring it up here, then you can ask for a layer mask while the ants are marching and it'll punch it in like that. Now, if I turn this guy off, in fact, I could just delete him. You don't even need him anymore. Um, just to keep it clear. Uh, now we have, if we double click on this, we can see that the blend if sliders are in the default position. The appearance is as if they were using the blend if from before. The reason is, if I hold on Alt and click on the layer mask, you can see that um, there's the mask responsible for it all. And here's the um, underlying image. So that's a pretty handy way of se separating the images so that you can give them different characteristics in a computer graphics renderer.